Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Friday. So very happy to be here and kicking things off with Zoltan A and FTL for show number 2293 and run number 41 out of 100 for the FTL 100. Let's hop in and see where the game takes us. Some more fun, I'm sure, but before we do get caught with the fine people in chat here and your wonderful support as well. What a good pin pin to load things up too, huh? Good job, Penny. Hey there, Robotic Row. What's up? Zutron Smith, Rick Decker, good to see you. Angel 9001. Hey there, Twitchy Rumi, race car driver, Trinan. It's good, Phoenix. Chasley 007, Proxy Vectran Talos. What's up, Dan Aykroyd fan? Torpedo, good to see you. Rocket background, Blue King Crab. Hey there, Gizwiki, Super Luigi, Lynx. Hey, before we get started to here, Torpedo Bench, thanks for 63 months. Athros, that very generous tier 2 in 19 months. Dan Aykroyd fan, thanks for a wonderful year and a half of lurking. Race car driver, thanks for 55. Mr. Legendary Ben, thanks for 38 months, dude. Go throw out some name suggestions for this fine uh, green vessel. I'm going to grab some names for our fine green crew. Go on town. Boris and Staunch. Now, look at all that creativity rolling in. Oh, I think I'm going to go with Cool Cucumber here. That's nice. We'll keep our food theme a rolling. Hey, Homeless Messiah, thanks for 34 months, man. Much appreciation. Hey, before we kick off this run here and start run number 41 of the FT100, I want to thank you all for initiating a hype stream to start uh, today's stream. Just thank you so very much. If you choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits, or gift during this time, you have a chance to unlock some exclusive emotes. Um, but as always, thank you for the most important thing is the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Let's hop into our run. We'll get caught up with all that support here in just a second. You madmans. Well, if you're new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space. The square right here represents one sector map. We've got seven of these and then a little bit different eighth sector with a three-phase enemy flagship fight. If we die at any point, uh, we start right back here with a new ship at the run. Along our journeys, we're going to collect this value scrap to improve our ship systems, subsystems, purchase from stores, etc. We'll see what happens. The Zoltan A is a little bit unique, has a pretty powerful start. We have Zoltan Shield, which is exclusive to only the Zoltan ships or the Zoltan Homeworld quest. Because it's a five damage shield bubble to start each fight. I'd say generally speaking, Zoltan A is very good in the early game, but if you don't transition into something that's not just the Halberd Beam, it can be not so good. Well, this layout looks interesting. I don't think we're getting this store right now. I'm just going to head over this way then. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go up and then back over and down on our way to the exit. Cool. Okay, it's a little sketchy. Penny, I don't trust you for a lot of reasons here. You're up there doing stuff you're not supposed to do. Cheesy Bob, thanks so much for that 
gift sub man and Claudius Knight. Thanks for that three gift sub package. Much appreciation. Okay, well, there's that. Okay, very good for us that our weapon did not go down there. Fortunate. All right, we got power loose for days. I'm going to roll over here now. Okay, this is bad. Okay, not in weapons. That's very good. Please don't take down our weapons here. Ion Storm, we're good. Lucky us, no damage taken. Penny's upset because she can't fit behind the printer stand anymore. Well, she did that to herself, so. I get it. Hey there, Rick Decker. Thanks so much for keeping it dapper. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you. Okay, we're now free of ion damage, so we're now going to jump away. Got a special pulsar event to start this run off. That's a little scary. Yeah, buddy, you did it. Hard care. Thanks for 36 months, and welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Quest marker right before the exit seems cool. Let's dock here. Okay, we're gonna blast doors right now. Cool. Got five free fuel there. That is worth 15 scrap. I would have preferred the actual scrap right now is to buy stuff, but that'll be fine. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is our tenth jump. Not including this nebula. We got a lot of jumps left to do here. Let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's like all of the jumps. We're just going to start right here and take that exact line out. Hey, Dan Aykroyd fan. Thanks for that very generous 500 bits, man. Much appreciation. Hey, look at this. Got sensor station here, so we got a double reward guaranteed, or at least a map reveal. <laughs> That's funny, Rumi. Uh, Winston's been all about going under this blanket on the couch lately. It's like his thing in the afternoon. And cats, animals. Okay, map reveal. Wow, this is going to be a really incredibly lucrative uh, exit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I don't think I want to do the distress here. We don't have the stuff to risk crew on a distress beacon. Yeah, Halbert Leto is the standard start for the Zoltan A. Um, it's actually a pretty good deal since getting a crew that's not a Zoltan is a power bar, but it's not our time to do that. Sure. Another one. Mm. Okay, we're going to get that quest too. So we should have two good quests on our way out of the sector. Okay. We're going to strip our shield really fast here. Guess this is it. Hopefully the missile launcher goes down. Hey, Vectran79, thanks for that super generous 1400 bits, man. Thank you, everybody that did participate in the hype train. Appreciate it very much. Nice. Well, that's very good that that went down.
Oh, they missed. Um, I'm going to do it again because I do not want to eat that Artemis missile. That's not good enough. Some very tough enemy ships, but very lucky things happening for us. Gotta love it. Thanks, FTL. Oh. Okay, we're not going to take this jump, then. Okay, they're trying to get away, but if we fire our halberd, they die. That'll do. Okay, that was level 2 cloak. Impressive. Man, we are really dodging well to start this run. Ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Defense from Mark II here. Awesome. Okay, if we're going into an Ion Storm, level 2 piloting could be a consideration, but I'm not going to do that. And having only half power available, is there any way... The buying two shields is correct. I don't know about that. Or five power right now. Going to six doesn't really do much. Yeah, we're just going to take this and hope for the best. Zoltan shield will be a very powerful tool here. Prepare to fight. Okay, they also have combat drone, which is pretty devastating, actually. I think they have a secondary drone passes. So we could finish this one off with Lado missiles, which is probably pretty safe, but I'm thinking that if the Halberd gets powered right away, if this goes off, they're done. They can't damage us anymore, so let's try that. 0% dodge is pretty sketch. Okay, I'm gonna bring the shield back online now, because that's where our safety kind of is. Oh yeah, Zoltan's shield did this perfectly. Nice. If our weapons went down there, could have gotten complicated pretty fast. So it would require our weapons and then a shield hit almost directly afterwards to be uh, a really bad situation. Okay, so we are going one, two, three, four, exit. Um, I'm going to delay two shields here just till we get these quests. I think one of them is going to be a store. And buying a weapon is the most important. Oh man, here we are again. This time, they have a Zoltan shield. Well, I'm not going to pay their toll, that's for sure. This might be when we have to swap to the Lado missile for the first time. Uh, hindsight being 2020, getting a weapon upgrade first might have been a good choice. Okay, they also have that Artemis missile, yoinks. Okay, on this one, we can still hit. Just have to have the beam hit at the very end of it. Mercy. That was not mercy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, missile launcher going down is a big deal. Okay, it hit there again, but it does not actually delay the repair. 
Um, I can drop another power here. I'm going to help him repair so we don't take another one after that. Okay, shield's back online in time. Nice. I think not. That was our second heavy laser Artemis ship here in Sector 1. That's a monster. Let's keep, the, keep this rolling. How much for the weapon power, actually? 35. The defense 2 to sell. I'm actually going to do this. It's a weird purchase before two shields. We can delay two shields with having the Zoltan shield. Lato lets us hit a system for extra damage, too. Can guarantee a shield goes down or a lot of other things. And hey, free reactor power. Legit. All right, all right. No store, but really good scrap sector one. I will gladly sell three drum parts for scrap here. I'd sell more if I could. Mantis Ever, thanks for that very generous tier two sub once again, man. Really appreciate that. NG controlled, three stores here. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to say with defense 2 to sell, hitting the store now is fine. Go ahead and do that. Let's just reveal a good amount of stuff, too. We don't have to buy from this store. We can just upgrade shields, and that'd be good. It's drone control. Combat drone. Crew teleporter. That's not happening right now. Ion Blast is actually quite good with the Halberd, too. It's like a mini extension. I'm going to say we if we need to buy the Ion here, I don't want to. My one repair. Fuel looks fine. you want to go there or no? I don't think so. go there. We do need some power now, but that should free itself up here soon. Gives us a lot of flexibility on what we can keep online. We can have two shields halberd or no oxygen, two shields. Don't have to go all in here because we have the Zoltan shield as a semi-backup for the moment. Okay. If we use a Lado here, we can kill this ship in one hit two hits. When an enemy ship has one shield, they can only have one value point on shields. So if you damage their shields, like we didn't there, uh, it would mean the bubble would go down and the Howard would be doing two damage. All's well that ends well. I just wanted to bop some, that's all.
Okay, there's another store. Hmm. We go to the store right now, we could be not able to buy most weapons. Uh, Torpedo, it's part of the uh, channel reward points features you can use. You can modify emotes that way. Vectrin79, thanks for four months and an ultra generous tier 3 subscription. Absolutely legendary. Thank you. I'm kind of tempted to double back on one jump here. Go like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then head over this way. I think I should, because hitting a store right now is very important. And losing one jump in your sector, not the end of the world in comparison to maybe getting an upgrade. Oh no. Save the NG. Yes. Saving the drone, definitely a consideration with the store upcoming, but now we free up another power bar. Now we have our stuff online. Yeah, I was scared there because there's a 25% chance to lose a crew, and losing a crew is like losing a power bar right now. As is, though, we just got a new crew, which is awesome. It's more Tomney. More Tomney's great because the Zoltan that was inside of the piloting is now powering a system, giving us another reactor. And piloting substance doesn't actually take one of your reactor power. It simply exists as a system. Move in and assist, dude. Intruders on board. Hey, man. I'm a little squishy. Just going to tell you that right now. Okay, Lado's not working here because they have defense drone. And the ship variation is very small. What is nice is with two shields, this ship cannot damage us. Uh, I'll just vent these guys for a little bit. Should be fine. They're softened up about half. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I can drop my shield now, because so I only need uh, one there. Or I don't need to. They're not going to reboard. I'll just hang out and then heal up afterwards. No crew teleporter on this enemy vessel. Simply a side effect of the event beacon. Sneaky Manti. All right, 82 scrap is a much nicer amount of scrap to hit a store with. Indeed. Man. I mean, it almost has to be heavy laser two. Oh, it's a very expensive laser upgrade. That's where we're at. It's the this, this something we don't currently have. They have some big weapons here at this store. Okay. So this give us a quicker option to fire out uh, two, two damage lasers. It will be better than the halberd beam for some events, but not as many as you might think. In combination with hacking, though, heavy laser two halberd beam is a game winning system. What a bonanza. Predirect, thanks for 38 months. Rudigo, thanks for an awesome half year. Really appreciate that. And Spiritual Prophet, thanks for 58 consecutive months. Hope you enjoy your continued lurk. Okay, quest marker to the map. Less incompetent captain. I guess that's me for now. 
That is correct. No balance mod for this FTL 100. Like right here, the heavy laser too, I think, is honestly better. If if it hits, then their weapons go down. It's also much faster. Oh, hey, let's power the Lado too. This is some safety. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, double miss. Let's see what happens. I got 20 missiles. That works. Hey, Doc Rigro, thanks so much for continuing your gift sub. Glad you're enjoying it enough to even consider that. It's really amazing. An onion Viking, thanks for four awesome months. Much appreciation. Because as always, absolutely humbled to share this time and place. Thanks for making it possible for going on nine years now. No place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing. I say, unfortunately for me, it really looks like... <laughs> Uh, the halberd beam would have been the better of the options here. Uh, Heavy Laser 2 does have some crew kill potential on ships that can't damage us, too. What's going on in here? I see. Let's see what happens with this. Okay, well, it's switched the repair. It's delayed now. The ship does have quite a bit of HP, so while this is greedy, if we get a breach in here, I mean, it's... Or that happens. Let's see what happens here. Enemy FTL delayed, of course. Why wouldn't they try to get away? Rock hole plating almost did us a solid there. Actually, rock hole plating right now can still do us a solid. If this resists, we get the crew kill. 15% chance. Okay, one, two, three. This has to be our fourth jump. So one, two. No, one, two, three, four. Duck tie two. Thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. Really appreciate that consideration. Stiff dough and scrap. Cool. All right. Nice. All right, let's see what's going on here. The ship can't damage us, so... Let's see what kind of crew they got. Decide what we want to do. Let's start here and see what happens. We need like an immediate breach, more or less. Could happen. Just wait here. They have uh, med bay, so we can kill off a crew. We'd like to kill off an engineer. And drop the Lado for right now. We're gonna collapse on this guy. We're gonna almost kill him. And then we're gonna try to heavy laser him when he enters the med bay. That or we can just let an engineer board and then kill him. I think that's gonna be best. Yeah, that's gonna leave the human trying to repair the O2 here in a moment. I don't know if we got him down to below 30 or not. Let's run back here for a second. Oh, they reboarded with the human. Alrighty then. I'm probably not getting a crew kill here then. That's okay. Oh, there's the breach. Ooh. 
The Zoltan shield augmentation, which the ship starts with, does prevent mind control and boarding while it's active. You can also hack enemy teleporters if you have that to send crew back, but usually the crew boarding you is not your main concern. Oh crap, let's get back to systems. There we go. Usually the boarding situations are just part of managing the ship fights and you're worried about disabling or doing other stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Pretty good scrap sector too. I'd love to, but I'm not going to spend scrap on crew right now, not in Sector 2. we got six full sectors to go, five of those having stores. Hey, I'll take NG Controlled again. We now also have an engineer for the NG Controlled sector, which is very nice. Hmm. Hitting the store now is a little bit tempting, but if we can get a bunch more scrap, that'd be best. What if we take a longer route here and go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems reasonable. Gives us room to round out at the exit, too. Doesn't leave us much uh, room to explore this beacon or this beacon, but we at least know we're hitting a store with a nice uh, bit of scrap. Here in Sector 3, you may see our first two shield ships. This Lado Halberd will be uh, what we have, more or less. It's going to be 125 scrap to bring the heavy laser into the Halberd. Uh, buying hacking here would be a much more efficient use of that scrap and keep us alive for a bit longer. I don't know if I like that. I mean, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. Let's see what happens here to start. Stiff dough and scrap again. Delicious. Alright, what's up? There it is. Okay, we're going to sell system repair here. Uh, I'm going to buy the hacking right now. I'm going to buy four fuel. Call that good. Hacking is not going to be good till we get 35 more scrap and get it to level 2. We also want to try to get some hacking parts built up. This keeps our halberd beam online a lot longer. It also makes the heavy laser upgrade better because we can strip the shields before we fire. There's a chance for 4 damage and breach fire and stun. Dude, is our third crew hire option? Alright, let's head down here. Alrighty. Kind of have to go for shields here, which is tough, but that's where we're at. Okay, it is an Artemis missile as well. Yoinks. Oh, dude, no way. We gotta have both these hit. Mercy. Mercy. Okay, very lucky on that. Okay, the missile launcher also went down there. Uh, just lucking out, that's all. I'm gonna keep going in here, I guess. Not gonna spare any resource parts on this, man. We gotta gotta get this done. No. So lucky. I 
Them having two shields and a value point in a shield is a very rare occurrence for this point in the game. But they did. Sector 1 and Sector 2 in Vanilla FTL can also have two shield chips, and they're usually part of special events. That's kind of what happened there. Holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. Would you believe it? That gives us three heavy lasers with hacking, or now we can even do... Uh, Halberd Heavy Laser instead of Lado. Also makes our next functional weapon upgrade uh, better. For the moment, though, what I'm going to do is purchase two hacking. Two hacking is the safest versus the worst ship type. In the absolute worst situation, being able to either hack weapons or hack their shields and get the best first volley is our out. Also, I totally would have spent 50 scrap at a store for a heavy laser, so just happy to see that. Halberd, Heavy Laser 2, Heavy Laser 1 is more than good enough to defeat the flagship by itself. Okay, uh, I'm not convinced we're taking this store. We only have three scrap right now. Nothing really to sell. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and we're out of here. Fuel is definitely tempting. I'll extend outward, though. We'll find some fuel. Respond to the call. Move in and assist. Mantis again? Come on, my mans. Dude, this is the ship. Awesome. Okay, they can't damage us right now. That's all gravy. Okay, we have the power out right now. I'm just going to run to the med bay here and do this the easy way. Our Zoltans are very squishy, so let's make this easy on ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna open the doors, close them. Go. Each door that is open to space acts like its own breach, yef, 23. So having multiple doors open does indeed increase the rate that oxygen is pulled from rooms. Yes, these two manas will respawn on their ship with the clone bay. But what we have now is an opportunity to grab a smidge of training, which I find to be relatively important on this ship. Heavy Laser 1 enables us to do this. Nice. Hey, indeed, Kinsteer. Hey, guys, please excuse me for just a very short second here. Just gonna use the restroom real fast. Be back long before this training is done. Just need just a moment.
All right, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that very brief intermission. It's a good question, Seaman. So, you can get boarded up to a maximum of three times if the initial event includes a boarding event. If the enemy ship has a teleportation um, system, they will only use that teleportation system twice to board your ship during the fight. If it starts with boarders, then you get boarded at the start of the event, they board you, and then they board you a second time. Alright, let me load something up here. Alright. Give me a sec to size this real fast. Uh, Close-ish. Okay. Find the best move for white. Gotcha. We can see our queens being attacked by this pawn. It can't take right now because it's pinned by the rook. Gotcha. Hmm. Like, here looks good, but I don't think that's the right move for the puzzle. Maybe this is it. I'm going to force myself to take a guess here in a second. I just don't, uh, I don't see what the right move is. Uh, this is possible. What's the follow-up to that, though? I don't see it. Alright, I don't think this is right. Let's do it, though. Okay, what do they say the right move is? Okay, knight takes there. Follow-up, DX, E5. Okay, that's pretty cheeky. I like it. Definitely didn't see that one all the way through. Okay, uh, seeing this board right now, initially I see if our knight makes it to here, uh, he's attacking the rook and this square, so pushing the pawn looks pretty tempting. Not seeing much else on this puzzle, let's go for that. No. Okay. Ah. That was an easy one. Self-existing. Thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that two years. Thank you. Why is life so hard? Okay. Okay. If we move the knight here to attack the rook, his only safe square left is right here. I really don't see much else as far as moves goes. Taking here doesn't do anything. Oh, excuse me, the puzzles usually fall into several categories, though there's not there's so many different uh, possibilities in a chess board state, but here are some of the possible categories. You can have uh, exchanges, where you're supposed to come out ahead on the exchange, uh, pins, skewers, uh, forks, which it looks like this one might be a fork. Um, and other things. Oh, okay, I see it now, I see it. So we go here, leaving him the only safe move was here, and if he does that, we just go... Go on down. Easy peasy. Okay. 
can see where we're at in our training here. Where are you at? Oh, it's coming along nice. I'm gonna drop this engine here. We're full up on engines, right? Yep. Oh, this is an easy one. This is a... Oh, wait, here we go. We gotta take here first. So Knight was guarding the bishop, and now we can check the king and attack the bishop at the same time. Cool. Oh, yeah, you're more than welcome to talk uh, about the board state, uh, Kinster, though. I probably won't look until after the, the puzzle's finished. No worries there, though. Okay. Find the best move for Black. Black looks like they're in a lot of trouble right here. This might be a survival puzzle. No, this looks alright. Okay, you can't go forward. We're not going to abandon the rook, so we're going there for sure. Oh, is it King F3 or King F1? It's got to be King F3. No, King F3 is H or Queen H4 checkmate. Now we can get away with uh, King e7 because we have this as an escape route. I think that's correct because just moving the rook back up would be saying that we're drawing here. I don't think that's our goal. Hooray! All right, probably last puzzle here and then we'll be back into our run. Okay, uh, first thing I notice on this board state is that if we move the knight, we are directly attacking the queen. <laughs> Though right now, our knight is pinned, because then the uh, queen can take the rook. So maybe not on that one. I think our goal here is to disrupt the queen, though. Can we... Get the protection off of this piece. I'm not seeing it right now if it is. What about knight f7 that protects the rook with the queen uh, and the knight and attacks the queen? Okay, this has to be it. Okay, now we're going to exchange. Check. We're trading down this way, and we need the knight here to protect this square, so this has to be a queen take. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, we were good up to the end there. Nice. Not too shams. How are we doing? Oh, dude, we're almost there on weapons too. Perfect timing. Legit. Let me get all caught up here. Self-existing. Thanks for two years once again. And Nate D313. Thanks for 13 biggins. Appreciate that year plus. Thank you. Getting the weapon charge right here is really important for the halberd beam and these heavy lasers if we do have to use them. How many more we got here? Just a couple more firings. Going to load up the halberd beam too, because we're there. Not usually, yeah, if I, I rarely even stop to train crew, but sometimes we do, depending on the ship and situation.
Get roasted. You know, going for a crew kill there by hitting O2 is probably a good idea with those Mantis being on there. But I just wanted to shred them. Oh, man, let's do it. Woo, okay. Um... Still have a chance to lose crew here. Uh, I think we're going to save the NG over the drone schematic. Oh, man, that's tough. Drone schematic has the highest upside right now because it gives us scrap. You're doing a great job cleaning that toe back there, Pimpin. I want you to know that. Doing a good job. She's locked in. All right. Which one was that? That was the shield guy. That's acceptable. We do lose a power bar for that. We get the crew back. And that's just going to be what it's going to be. Glad we didn't choose drone somatic and actually lose our fourth crew. Right, where does that put us right now? LNS. Yeah, save yourself is tempting there too, but really, uh, this early in the game, gotta risk it. Wow. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. A second halberd beam is pretty crazy, because double halberd beam can shred almost any ship in one volley if we do get it online and have a hacking part to use on each fight. If nothing else, that sells well. Oh man, another great seller. 37 scrap for selling defense mark II. What an end to this sector. Hell yeah, I'll buy 6 fuel for 12 scrap. Awesome. The bailout. Give it to me. Uh, we're going to go NG controlled here again, because Zoltan Homeworlds is alright. We already have Zoltan Shield, and that's the main upside to Zoltan Homeworlds. Do we risk diving here? We certainly can. Uh, I believe with hacking, we can pretty safely dive. Go shield hack, lasers should disable their weapons. But with only two engines and just having got hacking online, let's wait till the next sector to start diving if we do. Okay, let's just buy two power bars right now. I think that's totally acceptable. We now have the ability to level two hack with our four uh, stuff online and two shields. I would say we're definitely behind where we'd like to be defensively on this run, but we currently have all the stuff we need to transition into the our final build. It's got to survive long enough to make that happen. Okay.
It does not many roach. The flea pursuit begins when you enter the next sector. Diving has no effect on how fast they get there. Good question. Only six hacking parts. I'm debating right here if I can get away with not... Get away with not using a hacking part. I think I should try with the Lato. Hopefully no value point here again. So it looks like the Manus will be the repairer here. No, the NG. Okay. Good though, we did manage to take the shield bubble down. Missile launcher is down. Yes. Awesome. All right, we're good here. It's going to take the shield down, so the next ones will do two damage each. All God, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that. Two years of support and 43K. Thanks for a great eight months. It's an interesting question, K. Um, not particularly your... Lasers will always enter the fight, enemies and yours from a random area on the ship, so you can't purposely target the drones orbiting the ship. Though, if you do have a lot of lasers, you're going to hit more drones on average. Also, if the enemy ship has a smaller circumference, it's going to uh, hit their drones more often, too. On the small, very small ships like the... Um, the very small NG ships, you can pretty reliably eventually hit drones if that's a way you have to win the fight. I'm having a hard time justifying the store right now, knowing there's two more stores in the sector and how far behind we are on scrap versus what we have to sell. What's going to be at that store is going to be so great that I'm not going to want engines and just weapon power at this time. Nothing? I think just one weapon power right now is actually very important. Okay, I'm taking this store. We have a lot of scrap to go into. <laughs> Double heavy laser too, huh? Okay. Alright, I'm going to sell defense here. We're not floating so many hacking parts that I think Double Halberd is going to be a big reality here anytime soon. Uh, so I'm going to sell that as well. It's going to buy the fuel here. No repair required. Awesome. And I'm going to take my 81 scrap. I'm going to buy weapon power and a power bar. This would not be a run where we'd be able to even consider purchasing fire beam. The scrap has just not been there. Storage cash. Nice. Okay. I think we can avoid using a hacking part here. Seems legit. See if we can hit here. Nice. That means if this hits, which I hope it does, we can get a triple hit here. And if the piloting goes down, we're going to swap over to the heavy laser 2. It missed. Awesome. Boom, boom. Woo! Now that is pretty darn cool. Heavy laser 2, heavy laser 1, heavy laser 1. All right. I can work with it. 1, 2, 3, 4, store. 
It's our second free heavy laser one. Feels nice because it is nice. We also now have four heavy lasers, so our volley is significantly better. Yeah, that's all we needed. One, one good hit there. Maybe just maybe the halberd's better here. I'm going to swap to halberd after this volley. Okay. A little weird putting the halberd in front here, but I want these to fire at the same time. At least for right now. Welcome aboard! Okay, double fire in the sensors. That's fine. Okay, just gonna run over here real quick. We're gonna open the doors. I'm gonna close this off. Doing good, Wiz. Thanks for asking. I don't think so, uh, Miley and Zoltan crew would not be uh, a consideration here. I'd say, as a general rule, though I'm sure there's an exception to it, if we're not in position to buy Fire Beam, we're not going to be buying a crew member. Crew member is very late on the list of things we want to buy in an FTL run, so we prefer to find them at events for free. And usually will. Could just commit to a dive here to have a slightly better store. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four instead, leaving us room to maneuver. Hey, Contrati, thanks for that incredibly generous five gift sub package, man. Much appreciation. Thank you. Ship is not jokey. I can do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, our Zoltan shield absorbed the brunt of that. It does not look like we currently will need to use our hacking here. Hold on, I can kill these guys. Sixty, sixty. Nice. No more life signs. Easy crew kill. Okay. Let's head down this way now. Attack the ship. Alright, the ship has a very hard time damaging us. I was going to debate hacking, but I don't think I need to. Like, maybe an O2 hit here could do it. I'm going to try that first. Okay, it's one of those. Okay, I want to hit now. Okay, good. Hitting with one is all we needed. Dang, hey, Melvars, it's been almost four years already. Most excellent.
Oh, double store. All right, all right. Definitely gonna check those out. There is some stuff I like, no doubt. And none of it is there. Not a bit. Lado's definitely out now. Okay, well, this is definitely a store. Hmm. The store has a lot going on, but uh, if we're gonna buy a weapon, it's gonna be the flak, and I'm not even convinced that that is correct here. We already have our weapon system, and I need to buy functional upgrades like engines and three shields. I think selling the halberd for the flak is all right now. It does make our volley faster and more efficient. And if we eventually get loaded into heavy laser two, double heavy laser one flak, that's that's fine. Now, Flak also synergizes well with the Halberd Beam, because right now we could do Flak Halberd Beam to have a pretty guaranteed uh, good Halberd hit. I think where the Halberd Beam is falling short in this build and why it's going to get sold right now is that we can do so much single point of target damage, we can almost completely disable uh, a weapons or drone room, whatever we need to with the heavy lasers, that the two damage of the Halberd is falling off. So I'm going to sell the Halberd and purchase the Flak. Burst Laser 2 would love it, but it's just not right. And now for one weapon power, we can have Flak, Heavy Laser 2, Heavy Laser 1. It's a good five projectiles with our hacking already. Okay, where are we at for power right now? Okay, we can do that easily. I might just stick with this for a moment. Okay, so to get the Heavy Laser 2 also loaded in here, it's going to be 165. Can't say I agree with that, C-Man. This run is in trouble defensively to say that we're... Survival is not a problem is, I would say, not a fair statement for most FTL runs in most situations, but especially this one. Just now picking up three shields at the end of Sector 4. Or three engines, excuse me. Not even three shields. Yeah, selling Heavy Laser 2 for Burst Laser 2 is actually a consideration here. Uh, the reason that is good right now is because it's Flak Burst Laser 2, uh, one heavy. But it costs 80 scrap, which is basically delaying our third shield for even longer. Since it cuts out the second weapon upgrade, we're kind of receiving it for free. So we're not buying that 90 system power. Kind of. It does get us to a 7 laser projectile right now, too. You know, I don't even think this is actually that dangerous. Uh, this is essentially the same. In fact, it saves us 10 scrap. Because we're not buying the upgrade anymore. Okay, we just need the 75 to bring that online. Then we have 
eight projectiles for 10 damage. Does time out better with our system too, that's true. Let me get all caught up. Sorry for being a couple minutes behind here. Reg, thanks for two plus years. Orange NB, thanks for six awesome months. And Corpse Necromus, thanks for 62, five years and climbing. Thank you. Whoa, dude. That's a lot of, lot of missiles, my man. Is heavy laser or flak better here? Or the, is this better? Um, we'll be out of missiles pretty fast. Might even hack weapons here. Okay, cool. if I should swap to the burst laser 2 now or not. No. I am going to hack weapons, though. This is our first hacking part used this run. If I'm going to absorb one, that's not bad. Let's do this, though. Please hit with both. Thank you. We got fire in there as well. This is awesome. I'm gonna let him in the door first. Almost got him. Didn't even break the Zoltan shield. Nice. Double reward. It's beautiful. Okay, now we're going to purchase the weapon power and a power bar. So now we have Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, Double Heavy Laser. All we really have to do now is get any form of defense, and we're going to be feeling all right about ourselves. So we're not meeting our defensive threshold of wanting three shields before Sector 5 here. We're also behind on power. But I would say what we got for our extension was pretty good. Most ships, not all, will die or be disabled in our first volley. The ones that don't, though, oh boy. Hey there, civilian ship. Hey, welcome back. Continue. Hope you're having a nice one. All right. Welcome aboard, man. Sweet. Have him be designated on shields here. Let's get him a new name. Three NGs now. That's a beautiful crew. Prefer a bit more diversification for blue options, but... Getting crew is good. Martin P. We're gonna roll over 3,000 hours uh, in FTL during this FTL 100. We're almost there. Sweet, free stuff. Manus Homeworld or Pirate Controlled? I think I'm gonna take Manus Homeworld for the split here.
Okay, I'm by two engines or two power right now, then three shields is next. No thanks on distress, even though we do have engineers. There's several sun beacon distresses that exist uh, inside the manus sectors. Yes, this is the Kazak quest. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Not yet. We do not have the prerequisite stuff to receive Kazak, though. By hacking Python, we saw it was only level one, so one heavy laser in there, and they are finished. Alright, pulsar time. We only have two shields here, so this is very scary. We must fully disable the weapons to begin with. I'm gonna pilot hack. Okay, this fire drone is gonna be going um, ham here, and that's okay. Let's drop the power here and run into the shields. We can keep this up guaranteed. There we go. Let's say even if our stuff went down, they were set. Couldn't take all of the weapons down. Okay, we can take quite a few jumps before this door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks great. Let's head down here first. Are we free of ion damage right now? We are. Good. Stun bomb that sells for 17, I think. Ship can't hit us. Wow. It's a lot of spice in that weapon room. Three, four, five. No. This has to be the third jump. Fair enough. Hey, it's Kazak. What's up, dude? All right, well, on this Kazak event, we can go for a 2 kill. That's definitely a thing we can do. Can still get the follow up quest by doing this, just no. No Kazak himself.
I say that chain ion can take us down too, which isn't good. This might be a bit of a stretch for a crew kill, but maybe it could happen. Let's go ahead and use a level two hack on the O2. That will that will shore it up. That is surprising in this sector, um, Pickles of Brine. I agree. Looking a little red in there. There we go. Okay, they're not going to finish this repair. Oh, he's trying. Ooh, almost. Fumbled the wrench, that's tough. We need level 2 medbay here to actually get Kazak on our ship, but we will get some information out of him. Oh, okay. Okay, we did need the teleporter there. Gotcha. can always see the latest version of the balance mod, which we are not using right now, on that link right there, which is the page for it. All versions and pertinent updates are listed in excruciating detail on that page. Yeah, I'm going to save till the store. That was very tempting just to buy three shields right now. Okay, that's pretty nasty. Our super shield is going to be stripped very fast. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Okay. I think we're all right here. Okay, we've got both the drones down. Still at a little risk here, but that's all right. Better than having that beam chew drone going after our shields get hit or something. Cool. Mind control could be all right here, but cloaking would be much better. Might pick up mind control just to have it. It is a secondary option to hacking, which is quite helpful. It's very possible there's a store back here, but we know that we need three shields right now. That's a certainty. I'm going to go ahead and buy the power forward as well, and I will buy mind control. Mind control increases our ability to disrupt repairs, uh, gives us a better first volley without hacking, and opens up the most possibilities. Feels good to spin that scrap, finally. Absolute Legends, Agent 86, thanks for 67 months. Bun Bun, thanks for those 100 bits. And Kinster, thanks for those continued gifts, 155 in total. Thank you. I bet in the right situation you can get a crew kill on this ship. This ain't gonna be it though. But on bomb. It's happening. Let's say we're diving here for sure. Get two extra jumps to the sector and we're finally ready to dive. 
Dude, this is like our fifth or sixth crew option here. No, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna buy four engines power bar right now. That seems good. Uh, five for ten's not a bad deal here. Yeah, it's likely we're going to have to repair again at some point on this run. Actually, no. I'm going to save this. Oh, man. Okay, we... Dive didn't go the way we wanted. That's all right. Start venting these guys. Emarax, thanks for that quarter century man, 25 months. Thank you. So the anti-ship battery is going to go off here, but after that, we should be good. Do, do, do. Nice ASB missed. Perfect. The ultimate dive. I'm out of here. Civilian sector sounds neat. A civilian sector with a huge amount of nebulas here. Nebulas are only half fleet pursuit, so this could be a catch-up point. This could also be somewhere where we can get lost in the nebula and gain some fuel. The anti-ship battery does pass through Zoltan Shield uh, kingly balance. How many nebulas are here versus where are we going to leave the sector on? Might actually be double diving here. Seems a little weird to say, but um, let's leave ourselves the option. To the distress. And if we're going to do that, we're going to take an odd number of nebulas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, we're just going to swing back through here and then over and whatever happens, happens. Dude, I will gladly trade you one drone part for six fuel. Thank you. As it turns out, I'd rather not be stranded. Imagine that. I'm going to buy level two piloting right now, too, because we're going to go into seven nebulas. The odds of us hitting that manually search the wreckage event, pretty high. Let's see what they offer here. This is guaranteed fuel and scrap reward. Three fuel, 50 scrap. I'm taking that bribe. Rather than fighting a ship in the nebula here, that will lower our score overall since we didn't actually do a ship fight. That was a very high roll for scrap on what they can offer there. Feels good because it is good. Intruders on board. Okay, they're in the mind control room right now. walk in there. What kind of crew is it? Okay, it's just double humanitis. Fair enough. Okay. Gonna mind control one here. You guys are fighting. Cool. Looking good, guys. Doing great. Doing great. 
Little note there, if I would have left the door closed with the O2 off, he would have stayed in that room. Uh, Rat Pack, usually not at all, to be honest. It's all about what's best for the run at that time. Score is a very secondary objective to uh, surviving. Now, if we're on an absurdly overpowered run and we have just an extreme offense, I might start considering score um, more in our decisions. This run, while our weapon system is pretty darn good, has been rather average. Okay, if we disable either here, we should be okay. How could we not? That's right. Breach. Keep missing that three. Dang you, sausage fingers. Hey, Phobos37. Thanks for 74 consecutive months. Legendary streak. Thanks for that kind message, too. Glad the stream continues to be a place that you can come to get away for a few hours. That's what we're here for. Enemy FTL charging. No, you could not see the overall win-loss of Oliver Renzikai. And I'm honestly very glad for that. A win-loss percentage is not a statistic that I personally strive for. I used to go very hard for win-loss on all of the games I play, but uh, I find that to be rather limiting in the ability of things that you can do and the mindset that you can bring. But we will have a 100-run set to look at after this save try to find the good balance between having fun and getting the win. Always room to try some stuff out. Nice. Cotton, has there really been 41 months already? Where does that time go? Is there more than two crew here or nah? Okay, there is. It's okay, we can funnel them into the med bay here. No probs. Come on in. Well, Mountain Troller, everybody can play games and experience them in any way that they choose. I mean, I did win streaks and stuff in this game for a long time and enjoyed it very much. Say, so just like most things, the experience is what you make it. Paging Turner, welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for making it official with that sub support. Thank you. There is no doubt, though, that with doing win streaks, that the pressure escalates the higher the streak goes, because you have to weigh each decision that you make versus all of your previous wins. That's quite a pickle.
I'm just gonna assume we're double diving here. I'm doing it. Attempt to follow and help them. All right, store sounds awesome. All right, I'd really prefer teleporter here, or cloaking, excuse me, not teleporter. We don't have the crew for teleporter. Maybe if we got Kazak in the previous sector, maybe. Some fuel here sounds awesome. Okay, altering the announcer's opinions here gets the store, so I'm gonna do that. A uh, higher level there gets you not only the store, but some scrap too. They give you stuff and open the store for you. <laughs> That's very fair, man. That's very fair. If you're new to FTL at all, it's definitely best to play on easy and uh, just enjoy the experience of learning. I think we'll just buy cloaking here. Though pre-igniter is all right. It doesn't improve our system all that much. Not as much as cloaking does. Cloaking will be a respite here, to say the least. All right. Hmm. Okay, that connects up, so we can go like one, two, three, four. Okay, we're not getting the store then. Hmm. Two. One, two. I think I'm gonna go for getting six engines and double diving now that we picked up cloaking. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, dive, dive. Oh boy. If we don't get scrap on the way up here, I may divert. That store is a foregone conclusion for me. Hey, Ryan H, one, two, three, four. Thanks for 13 biggins. Glad you're still enjoying after more than a year. Thank you. I missed three again. What are you doing there, fingies? Triple kill! Hold up, we can get a crew kill right here, I think. Uh, it really depends on how this spreads out, or if it does. I got 14 parts. I'm gonna give this a shot. My part got shot down by their laser. Amazing. Alright. I'm gonna start my hack right now, because I think this will kill him before he gets out. Oh yeah. You find a weapon system on their ship with no crew to stop you, you can install it on your own. Indeed we can. Let's fight the ship. Pretty decent setup, but... Mind control first volley should be adequate. Only level one hack too, nice. Get some. No. Trying to get away. Come on down. 37 scrap a do feels nice because it is nice.
I think we'll get to six engines here. I got faith. Ooh, man. I feel like six for 24 is pretty safe here with having eight projectiles and cloaking and mind control. The amount of ships we actually have to use a hacking part on is pretty low. 12 for 48, though, is really pushing the boundaries with this double dive upcoming. Do want that scrap and we'll take it. Come on, scrap a doodle. There it is. Shouldn't need a hacking part here either. It's got to cloak this thing. Boom, 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 ba -doom. You're dead. Okay, I was uh, clicking too fast. Or I actually click the, I click the text option there. What did we get? Stuff. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo. Yep, accepting surrender is fine too. It's still a win. surrender man jump imminent not anymore roasted oh hey there's a store back here neat probably just buying six engines and power but automated reloader would be a big consideration here backup battery also quite good I'm gonna do that and buy this engine here Awesome. Just beautiful. Selling ion here is fine. We're not going to use that. Do I actually buy fuel here or not? Mm, I don't know about that. I'll buy two because I can. I'm going to buy a power bar here. Great. Now we have six engines and cloaking, which is pretty good for diving. Should be adequate. All right, their weapon system is pretty chill, all things considered. Fully trained engines, we should be able to get out before the ASB fires, but if not, we can cloak it. Now, we'll not, however, leave our cloak for the following event. Swing and a miss. Good news for us, we'll be out of here before this Vulcan is uh, anywhere near capacity. Okay, cloaking's still up. Awesome. This could be a little bit scarier. I am going to use a uh, hacking part here. Definitely safer than mind control. The ASB pierces Zoltan shield right back. One of the few things that can get past it. Oh, we're out of here in plenty of time this time. Not even close ASB. 
We're going Pyro Control over Zoltan Controlled here. I don't want to deal with uh, heavily powered Zoltan Shield ships. Great. All right, everybody, before we go any further, about two hours into our Friday afternoon to evening broadcast here, just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, and grab a very quick snack. Be about three to five minutes for this break, and I'll see if I can manufacture some kitties for you as well. Be back in a few short minutes to continue this run and the fun. As a reminder, no ads during any break during the show. Only do one set at the very end on top of our No Frills format, no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. Thank you all for allowing this channel and format for going on nine years now. Penny, you're the worst. You don't have- look how tired you are. You don't have to get up right now. What a turd. We'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna put you back up there, Penny. I'm gonna make you.
Alrighty, thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Appreciate it very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the kitty playtime uh, during that. We're back. We're refreshed. We got ourselves a snack. We're ready to roll. We're here starting Sector 7, the final chapter in the first portion of this run. Sector 8 works a little bit differently than the first seven sectors. I think now we picked up Cloaking, feeling pretty good about winning this run. There are no guarantees when you're playing a run of FTO. But we have a lot of assurances. We have a decent weapon set up. We have the ability to cloak. Uh, we have hacking. Dude, let me get all caught up here. Kinster, thanks for those gifts during the break. And just now, Wally Brick, thanks for 17 months. And Dracos113, thank you so much for that amazing year of support, man. Really appreciate that. Here's the fact I probably should have hacked on this one. That'll do it. I haven't cloaked yet, so we're in a good spot. Okay, well, Manus repairing the shield is an awesome form. Okay, they fire at the same time. I was going to cloak here. And do the same volley. No. I will not accept surrender. Hey, nice assassin, H23. Nothing quite like the sound of four flax going off at the same time. Nice run, man. I'll take that 40 scrap of dew today and every day. Let's roll. Oh, I'm willing to double dive here, too. So if we're going to be able to double dive, I will go up this way. Just recently started incorporating uh, regular double dives into my later runs. Uh, if you have six engines cloaking and hacking, you can reliably take multiple dives in a row. Not always, but pretty consistently. Okay, quest marker added to the map. I'll go towards that. Okay, I guess this is how we're going to exit. So this needs to be jump number... Oh, is it a triple dive? That's a bit much. No, this connects over. Jump number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I got plenty of room. Yeah, we should find a store for fuel here. Should. Yeah, for sure, Shroff. Uh, learning how to dive and learning the limitations of the different sectors and shifts while diving will always be a massive risk. Uh, a lot of times if you're getting two or three extra jumps out of your sector for diving, uh, even in sector one, that can be almost 100 scrap. It can be the difference between having a great sector one and an okay sector one. Nice reward there, I like it. Hey, and there's a store. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, boom.
Hmm. I don't think hack's going to be necessary here. We'll find out. I can cloak the first missile. Don't need to exercise that option just yet. Store now. She just did a write up on uh, that in the Discord the other day, uh, Slip Zone. You can usually expect to see a few new titles during our Fragmas events each year. We got one in the summer uh, and one in the month of December. We do 31 days of streaming. But to sum it up, basically, especially right now during this crisis that we're all experiencing, I'm really focusing on streaming uh, games that I know are my best content, that I have the uh, best shows to put forward. The idea of playing something just to experience it or to catch some hype right now at this time where I really feel that people legitimately need a place to relax and many people are receiving that here. Um, not so much. Do always keep an eye on games, though, and if you do want to suggest something, uh, I do look at Steam once to twice a week using that suggestion link as a, a rough guide for my journey on what is coming out and releasing. I do appreciate your suggestions. As far as the day-to-day -day of the stream right now and for the past month and a half, I've been playing a smaller list of games very purposefully because the nature of the content right now is uh, incredibly important. Hope that makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I miss a jump in here? Say it isn't so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, we didn't. This is fine. Might be able to squeeze this one in there though. Fight the ship. All right, well, let's hack engines here and slam the weapons. And we're going to mess around with missing our first volley here. All right, I'll just go ahead and cloak here. Why not? And if they get to the repair all mind control. Actually, I'm going to go for an O2 hit right now. It's like they have level 302, though. Makes it a little tricky now, doesn't it? Fight! Hey, fire in the O2. Now we're cooking with mayonnaise. We will not accept surrender. Okay, they are going to get this fire out, but... A bit late, maybe. Okay, fire spread into engines. I didn't want to see that. This does make it harder for us. Let's go ahead and mind control you. Slamming and jamming. Get bobsoned. Hmm. Okay, if my control wasn't about to run out, I was going to run at Zoltan over to pull it. Okay, the O2 is draining out of this room as the fires go, so I don't think a repair is happening.
Hey, cheers, Slipzone. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, we got it. Thanks, Mind Control. That was a big reward. Lots of scrap. Four shields is what I want to buy, but I'm going to take a couple more jumps just to see if we're getting a store here. There's way too many NGs on here to do anything uh, too crazy. Probably should have not hacked there. We got plenty of parts, though. And big bada boom. Fight, fight, fight. I don't know. Breaches make a lot of things possible here. Manus on the O2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 70, 21. How much hole do they have left? Not enough. How am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to start my hack. I'm going to fire this and then this behind. Okay, he's coming down to repair here. We do have mind control, though. We're going to mind control the... Let's mind control the manus. That'll break the repair and... Oh, I thought he was going to move over. Darn. I thought they were going to fight for my amusement. I don't think we're getting the crew kill now, but it's possible. Nope. No longer. Or he's going to go into the hacked room and that'll do it. Nice double reward there. That's beautiful. Hey, Twinge, wonderful to see you, man. Free reactor upgrade, sick. We're still at the 30 tier for reactor upgrades, okay. I'm just gonna say this out loud, I really should spend that scrap right now, but I'm not gonna. Investigate. Uh, we're going to leave the madman's to his raving, so I don't want to have a 25% chance of losing one of my five crew. Alright, I'm going to take this nebula now. Go down here, and then we're double diving. Attempt to follow and help him. Attack the Schleverschkem. I think Clone Bay is safe for that one, Torpedo Bench, not Med Bay, though, because uh, the crew dies on the way back to the ship or near the ship, something like that. Mm. I don't think hacking is required here. I'll cloak this. Okay, level 2 maybe provides a blue option for the events. Thanks for the clarification. Uh, just yet another crew option for level 2 medbay. Hey there, Chid. Thanks for a wonderful year a few minutes ago. Sorry for not seeing you sooner there, man. You're having a wonderful afternoon. Swing and a miss. 
We got cloaking up here. The safest fight has not gone as I expected without the hacking part. We do only have five crew, so a six crew would certainly be good. Is it better than like 70 scrap right now? It's a guaranteed high reward here. Hmm. I actually think the 6 crew has some merit. It's probably not better than the scrap, but it simplifies quite a few situations on phase 3, so I'm going to take that. Go son it is. Man those doors. Hey, there was a store back here. I knew it. Alright. Man, that's pretty significant. Is it worth dropping a heavy laser and upgrading weapons to have an additional burst laser too? Uh, is two more projectiles, but only one more damage. I think automated reloader is it. Long range scanners are probably actually worth the purchase here going into sector eight. They're just that good. I think Automated Reloader is a nice compromise between buying this, so... This makes our Heavy Laser Flak fire very efficiently a second time before they get to Cloak on Phase 1. We can just buy a weapon value point later if we want to. Let's snag four shields right now. Automated Reloader, and I think that's it. Very speedy weapon system. Might go for a level 3 hack on the flagship. More on that in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and buy those two because I can. We're here. Don't need repairs, don't need fuel. Okay. Okay, your advanced sensors pick a faint life signature inside the cargo. A life form appears to be armed. This looks like a planned pirate ambush. Destroy the crates. You fire on the crates, breaking them open and scattering the pirates into empty space. Pirate ship appears out of nowhere message. You will pay for that. Long range scanners paying off immediately. The ship can't even hurt us. That is tough for them. Backup battery will be one of the most efficient upgrades we can do at this point, sure. It will happen, too. Just not yet. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty rare event. Pirate sector only, if I remember correctly. Oh, he's going to repair that in time. That's okay, we get to fire again. Ish. Winston, you're on uh, the fourth fourth pass for those chicky flakes, huh? He will not give up or surrender until all chicky is found. Enemy FTL charging. I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hack cloaking here.
Nope. Buddy, what's going on right now, partner? Hey. But <laughs> that's the blanket you're trying. You're pulling it through the other side, bud. Hey, that's your bed. There you go. Let me help you out, partner. See, it was that. Yeah, just the other side of that. That's it. He's not convinced. Oh, he probably did knock a chicken down there, didn't he? Oh, man. That is a tough day for a baby kitty. All right, I'm going to level two backup battery now. Three hacking is next, but we will worry about that in a sec. Seven engines was also quite good here. Double dive coming up. That's quite the system you got there. All right, on this one, I'm just going to hack weapons. I don't like the way that looks. It's a good start. And I'm out of here. That went well. Also mind control on this one. Oop. Since I wasn't charged right away, they were gonna need to cloak the ASB. We need six engines powered at the start of the event. Give ourselves a good chance at actually getting out before the ASB fires. Nice. Okay, see ya. We made it anyways. All right, Sector 8 store. Neat. Don't really have anything to sell right now in the long-range scanners. Maybe I'll head over this way or I'll take this jump. I'll take this one. Does the skill of the person manning piloting matter as well as engines? Uh, twins, or is it just engines that affect the uh, FTL charge rate? This looks good. They're getting slam jammed. Okay, cool. I always assumed it was piloting as well. Thanks for the clarification. We learned something today. How nice. Okay, let's mind control the guy repairing weapons here. No thank you. To the store. Okay, let's take a look here. We only got a couple jumps before the base anyways. So now we can sell the long-range scanners, which I don't think paid for themselves, but good enough. I'm going to buy value weapons here. 
Okay, I got a host of other value things I need to get. Level 202, level 2 cloaking would be very good. Uh, 3 hacking, again, would also be very nice. Let's we'll start by buying the most important upgrade, which I think is level 202. That means if you get O2 hacked on the flagship, it is much less detrimental. Combat 2, double missile. All right. Our Zoltan shield's getting wrecked right here. like dead on. Yeah. Oh, I made through. Okay. Repairing here, but we're mostly okay, I think. Nice. Enemy FTL charging, but not quite. man give me a second here Winston is losing it buddy here's the thing I know you will not rest until you find that piece of chicky so we got to solve this mystery right now hey yeah I know all you want is the chicken I get it one sec Alright, we fixed the problem by I put Chicky that wasn't there in the spot where he thought it was. And now he's moved on. Cats. Alright, we're gonna grab this repair as well. Okay, let's value out here. I'm actually thinking that value weapons looks pretty desirable. No, let's go hacking here and a power bar. Okay. Gotta move along, bud. Since we have automated reloader, we can fire our weapon system twice before they cloak a second time. They also don't get to hack until our Zoltan super shield is down, which is certainly to our advantage. 
Okay. So we're going to fire the flak right away here. And then right as these are about to hit, we're going to start our hack. Double fire there is excellent. Now our flak's going to be back online for the second time. So we can do this. Which does this. Well, let's do just one there. They only have level two. No more cloaking for a minute. And no missile launcher either. Okay, they hack the sensors. That's tough, I guess. The downside to doing this strategy is we're not going to be getting um, many crew kills. We did keep our whole integrity at maximum. All right, since we want to fight them at the base phase two anyways, I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to take whatever is at that beacon and maybe get an upgrade. Uh, power and engines would not be bad for sure. Okay, the power of having that one automated reloader is really, really a big deal. Good start, good start. So level 3 hack lasts for 10 seconds. Nice. Black is at 10 seconds base, 20% extra for our weapons person being fully trained, and then an additional 10% for the automated reloader. This cat is out of control right now. Alright, here's the thing, dude. Hey. Hey. You're just a little kitty man who's already had lots of chicky today. Just, just let that one shred go. Just let it go, man. It's actually pretty safe to take this jump. That's a little bit of a risk. Let's get the engine. Very good start there. So actually go for a level two mind control in this room. It's the wrong crew to get the mind control on. That's all right. Okay, he's in hacking. That's fine. Nice. We got at least a crew down there. Pretty good phase two. Let me get all caught up here. Triger, thanks for a most legendary 73 months. Appreciate that six plus years. Dark most, thanks for 19 months. And Striker Elk, thanks for 75. Appreciate that three quarters century. 
South Tier 2D5. Thanks for 32 months as well. What a bonanza. Alright, phase three. Uh, might as well buy this. We have the counter mind control and we have the hacking. And we have the weapon systems to strip their Zoltan shield relatively safe. We've also left ourselves the base as a safe jump to go back to, which is awesome. Nice. So good on the dodges so far. I could mind control right now, I just don't think it's necessary. Can't believe they haven't stripped the shield yet. So good. Triple kill. I think they're dead before their next phase here. Fight! Good run, man. We spent a lot on weapons on that run. No punish in late Sector 4, Sector 5, though. Lucky us. That definitely calls for some dapper time. GG, what a run. Feel free to take your guesses as score there. Captain Vlad Tepe, thanks for five awesome months. Much appreciation. Let's say we're 5,600 or so, might be my guess. I don't think we hit quite his 6k because we still had five power bars available to purchase on a reactor. Fifty-five twenty-four. There it is. A very good Zoltan A run. We got food theme going on in the Zoltan here. Makes sense since it's green. All right, everybody, we're gonna hop into this Spelunky daily now and see how that goes for us. Wait, do we have a daily today? I honestly don't know. Maybe.
No, we don't. So, okay, we're gonna hop into a run of Spelunky, then. All right, title's all good. Let's grab a new character here. All right, Van Helsing. Mm. Get that frog in the hole. Frog in the hole. Penguin. Get in the hole. Cricket in the hole. Tuttle man from downtown. And we're off. Nice. In order to throw the rock like that, you must be holding up and jumping while you throw the rock to get it uh, propelled past the air. Okay, only Van Helsing. I turned in through the rock a different direction. It's really hard to hit yourself like that, but I found a way. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, that was a good one, Garlic. A classic, even. Get blappened. Oh yeah, he was like that when I got here, though. Probably should have cleaned out the front of his store. Would have happened. Dangerous for him and his customers, I know. Dude, that snake absorbed all the bullets. What a hero. All right, our key and chest needs to be on the next. So do you see we have 16 rope right now? 16 ropes? That's more rope than you can throw a rope at. That's fair. That's also fair.
Hmm. Not gonna mess with that snake. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, I'll use one of my 16 ropes here, I guess. Okay, no key in chest here, which means it has to be on the next level, but it will be. We've been very thorough. down here. Alright, couple bombs there. That's nice. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I was gonna bomb right here. Alright, key and chest is not over here. And that arrow trap has not gone off. Greetings, pepperonis. Okay, feels like there's a vault in here somewhere. We also know we can get to that for free, so... Back up and around we go. He figured it out all by himself. Proud of that guy. Snap. Got one HP. I'm out of here. More rope. It's going to be that kind of run. Looks like we can get up back up to pups, and I will. Okay, we can drop pups off at the worm here, even better. Okay, I can make it back up here barely. I'm gonna drop my guns. Hey, five eyes. Thanks for 27 months, dude. What an afternoon. And no, you cannot drown in Spelunky. Okay, I black market scene. Uh, no pace here, let's just bomb over. Later, Tater. Okay, they're dead now, good. No paste.
Okay, just the just the vault guy left. Now back to your regularly scheduled tunage. I'm out of here. Looks like a pretty easy bomb for me. Okay. Is he gonna move forward though, or there we go. Okay, one bomb. Mm. Right here. That'll do. It's scary, but it'll work. Okay, some vault music this left. A nice neat little pile, that's all. There's nothing wrong with that. That's no crime. They're already dead. Spring shoes are very nice here. Um, okay, yes, I would like that box down there. Not at that cost. All right, what's going on over here? I was going to say you could get eaten by the, uh, the man-eating plant, but you didn't want to do that either. Should be good. Saw some awesome blood. Twelve easy bombs right there. All right, let's see where we're gonna stage this. That'll do. I'm out of here. One reason you can put bodies on spikes that would be a legitimate game reason is if you have the blood goblet, and then you can do that to uh, farm blood from the from the bodies. Okay, Kali angering. 
I mean, we couldn't recover our favor here. With that, too, huh? Hmm. They're still in there? Hold on, hold on. What's on the outside of this? Mm. Okay, they do uh, fall on down there. Later, Tater. Alright, we're out of here. Oh god. I'm alive. Yeah, so if we accidentally anger Kali again, we get ball and chain on us, which is not good. And if we anger her a time after that, we get a permanent ghost following us. I think once you have the permanent ghost spawn, there is no getting rid of it. Like, um, you're still following only the sacrifice table, and having a ghost is not part of the sacrifice table, if that makes sense. So when you anger, you lose a favor points. You can get back to the favor point you were at before and beyond to continue rewards. Like, for example, if we sacrifice three damsels now, we receive our next reward, the blood goblin. Okay, there's our resurrection shrine right there. Awesome. What's in here? Paste? Okay, well, there's totally going to be paste inside of that uh, thing. You can just tell. Let's go ahead and drop a mine in front here. And there we go. Okay, it's not paste. Hey there, Scuba Steven. Feel like it's been a minute, man. Thanks for 68 months. Glad you could be here today. Awesome. Okay, that was a bit weird. Hmm. I'm gonna use a rope right here. 
Hey, pups. I think that's as close to hitting me as that can get without actually exploding. In fact, just going to confirm that. That is as close as it can get. Getting this guy's shotgun would be optimal right now. Let's see if we can find a Puppo Safety Center for this fella. There it is. Puppo Safety Center. Swing and a miss. All right, let's try it again. Frozen enemies will shatter upon being put down. I'll be taking that, thank you. So, hitting the shopkeep with a corpse is one way to make him drop his gun. The direction at which you throw at him does determine which way the gun drops, too. Okay. Okay, SMK Game God, thanks for 86 months. My pleasure, as always. Thanks for 86 continuous. What a streak. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Lots of bombs. I'm going to use a couple here. Okay, that wasn't the one. There we go. That's good. Do, 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 do. Whoops. A single tile lava will not. Yikes. Will not summon fire elementals, which is good for us here. Might get telefragged here, I don't know. Ha! You bamboozled yourself, sir. Okay, come over here now. You're doing great, Mr. Shopkeep. Doing awesome. There you go. Mm. I was so lucky he went in there. Thanks, dude. If the Croco men teleport when taking damage to your location, your exact tile, they, uh, well, they explode you. Smushing the shopkeep was a possibility there, sure. What if I don't want to pay for my crimes? Is that an option? It's a dangerous shot there. When the crocodile teleport into lava, it does not kill them, though. No. work, kind of. Cool. Let's 
Scepter is not technically an automatic kill, though it does enough damage to kill uh, most things. He'll be back. Okay, cool. Now we can uh, unlock the City of Gold entrance and have a shotgun leaving here. here. Oh, that's tough. I'm out of here. Basically, the scepter does 10 damage very fast. It's not good to fire the scepter at things whom body disappears after dying, such as mummies. You know, it's like an awesome spot to put a bomb. It also looks like an awesome spot to put a bomb. See him, he's still down there, he's upset. Later, Tater. Catch where the Necronomicon was a nom in the most paste. Okay, no paste for us. Okay, it's nomin over here. Gotcha. a bit off, that's okay. Or at least we're on point for the door. I might uh, bomb over to these crates here. Chance at pace sounds pretty good. Eh, maybe not. Oh, okay. I did not do what I wanted it to. My bad. Okay, exploding frog B, huh? Sure, dude. Okay, well, I dropped my guns. That's all right. There will be more guns.
All right, first things here, I do want to get over to the right-hand side of the map. Oh, man. All right, all right. We may be doing this without Vlad's amulets. Oh, no. Duder. Okay, he's already dead. That's nice. I'm gonna climb up the tower on this side. So, okay, got you. So it's really the only entrance in. Enjoy those spikes down there, would you? Okay, that's fine. Eye frames, eye frames. Man, I really don't know if this was uh, a worthy risk or not, but we're here. Vlad's aim is going to give us fire immunity. Immunity to fire elementals, so no lava or fire elemental crap. Did lose a lot of HP there, though. Can put a bomb here. Job. All right, we made it. Nice. Well, not for him. I'm out of here. Oh no. Okay, well, now we gotta find out if there's a lava pool here or not. There's not a lava pool here, okay. Still do this. Okay, we are gonna need that shotgun though. Okay. It's not great. Is he at least getting hit down there? Good.
All right, here we go. Oh, hey, I can uh, get rid of the iron ball right here. Hold on. Got Vlad's amulet, too. Just got to burn this thing. When it hits the bottom, it'll be destroyed. There. Okay, good. Still not out of the woods yet. Okay, forget this side. It looks really bad. Even got the ball and chain on that run and still manage. Feels nice because it is nice. That definitely calls for some dapper time. Let's do it. GG, what a run, what a day.
Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for another wonderful show here on Twitch. Had an awesome time with our FTL Zoltan A run today. And that's Spelunky Run, which is actually a first in 972 hours as of this show. And Spelunky uh, did completing a run where we angered Kali to get the ball and chain. Every other time that it happened to me, we had lost the run. Pretty fortunate time to get it right before the lava pool uh, on Yama. You can also get rid of the ball and chain by resurrecting there. But alas, a first for me in almost a thousand hours of play and a really excellent Zoltan A run. I may catch you guys for this Plunky Daily a little bit later. I don't know that yet. It really depends on how my next couple hours have go. We'll see how it goes. At the very latest, catch you guys 1 p.m. Pacific tomorrow to do it up again. Until then, keep a damper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Frag out. Much appreciation, everybody. Thanks for the great show. Appreciate all the support and wonderful conversation. You truly are the best. Take it easy, everybody. Awesome.